Let's talk about uh, trade and these are very, very apparent, uh, becoming more apparent divisions in the White House. Mnuchin going one way, Cifius, let's make this a bigger, broader uh, net, and also at the same time, more of a fine scalpel, right? And then you've got the other guys going, look, no, I like the sledgehammer approach <laughs> with export controls and uh, uh, restrictions uh, as well. What, what do you do with this as an investor? Uh, well, I think the reality is the market has spoken, right? If we look what's been happening in the last few days, the markets have been tanking globally. Uh, risk aversion has been picking up. Obviously, President Trump looked at this and decided it was uh, a price that's too high to pay at, the, at present. And so I think that's, think why, that's why he backed off? I think that's a big reason why he's backed off from this. Oh. I don't think there's been any real change in policy. Mnuchin obviously has been playing a role in playing counter to the hawks in the administration, as you mentioned, the mm. likes of uh, Navarro, Lighters, Bolton, etc. Uh, but, but, you know, if you look at it, even CFIUS, the, the changes they're going to make are still enhancing that program and that legislation, and it's still going to be tougher for China to invest in the U.S. Mm. Uh, but bearing in mind that if you look in the first half of this year, Chinese uh, investment in the U.S. has already shrank very, very sharply compared to the last couple of years. So, in any case, it was already shrinking. Um, this is just going to be the icing on the cake, especially in terms of technology investments. Mm. So overall, when you're looking at the situation heating up once again, um, how nervous are you? I'm, I'm pretty nervous. I think markets have been complacent for too long. Mm. Uh, you know, I think the reality is that uh, this isn't just about the bilateral trade surplus that China has with the no. US. I know that's cited by Trump uh, continuously. But it is very much about technology. It's about made in China 2025. You know, I was in China just a, a few weeks back and pretty much everyone I met there said, look, this is not something we want to back down on. This is a policy that's going to be in place. Uh, China, uh, the U.S. may slow it down, but the reality is that it's going to happen one way or other. This so is this something is that's our destiny. Yeah. It's non-negotiable. So on that's China's side of things. They'll negotiate the trade surplus. They're willing to buy more uh, U.S. goods. There's no doubt about that. Potentially 30, 40 billion a year. That, that's doable. Uh, that will hurt some other countries, but it will help the U.S. But this is non-negotiable. And the U.S. side is very different. You've got as I said, the hawks who believe mm. that they don't want China to get there, where's the middle ground? It's very hard to well, see well, that. Well, is there a middle ground? I mean, That's that... what I mean. I don't think there is. I, I, you know, unless one side really steps away from this, it's not going to happen. So you're... Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.